everybody, this is Kristen, and I have the May Cotton Cuts box from Cotton Cuts. Wow, that was terrible. Hey everybody, this is Kristen, and I have our May 2019 Cotton Cuts box to unbox today. Um, I apologize in advance if I'm not super perky today. I'm getting over being sick, so bear with me. <laughs> but that being said, let's get into it. So, every month um, I get my Cotton Cut shipments, and for those of you who don't know, it's a monthly subscription box, and they only send you fabric, and it's personally curated for you by your fabric enthusiast. So it's kind of an awesome um, thing if you already have a ton of notions, and you just want more fabric to play with, it's great stash builder. So inside my box I have something that says, creativity is intelligence having fun. And then on the back, it tells me what was packed in my box and who packed it. So Val packed some florals, which is Kalista by Studio RK for Robert Kaufman. Some Juvenile and Children's, which is Sisu by AGF Studio for Art Gallery and CC Vault. So they went into the vault to find me something fun based on my preferences. And then we also get a lanyap, a little something extra in our box every month. And, ooh, we get a little acrylic ruler. Okay, that's cool. I like it. We also have our designer spotlight as Joan Ann Hart. And I'll type all that up for you. And then every month, part of our box, we also get a code for one of these uh, patterns. So you get all your awesome fabric, and you get like, you know, a free $10 pattern. So honestly, I think it's a really good deal. Inside our box, we also have block of the month is Greek cross, and then on the back, coloring sheet. And if you color this, you can also download it on their website if you um, are having trouble getting the color to stick to these, because I do. And uh, you can post it to ha post it to social media using the hashtag CC Color Challenge, and you can win up to two yards of fabric. So definitely worth um, trying. So do that. All right, and last but not least is sneak peek for the fall 2019 mystery quilts. So here's some of the colorways that y'all are going to be able to choose from. And honestly, just make sure that you set your alarm because these are, they go so quickly. There's some that are gone within hours. Um, Sign-ups open on May 31st at 7 a.m. I'm fairly certain that's central time. And like I said, there's a Tula Pink one this year. Um, there's a few others which look really, really fun. So definitely, if you want to take advantage of that, um, set your calendar, set your alarms. Um, and if you sign up, I don't know if it works since I'm not doing this next one, but um, as like a referral, you can use my name. So I'm sure if you put in Ranger Kristen, they'll know who you're talking about. Um, and then you could, I believe the, uh, what I was reading was like you get a little present in your first month. So just throwing that out there. All right, our cute little ruler, the Cotton Cuts logo on it and website and the help number or the help address for email and it's about three and a half inches it's so very fun cute little ruler all right in my box i've got gorgeous colors and i am really happy to see that it's mostly blues <laughs> this month last month it was very pink um, and I'm generally not a pink person unless it's raspberry. So I am really stoked to see colors that are a little bit more up my alley this month. Of course now I'm also having way too much trouble getting this darn not undone. There we go. It's not one thing, it's another, right? Alright, so let's get into it. Um, Let's just start at one end, and this is going to be my juvenile children's, so Sisu. So we've got kids who are um, 
flying on balloons and parachuting and doing all kinds of interesting things. And this is up, up and away. So gray and well, yeah, I'm gonna say that's black. So gray background, black circle-y things and kiddos. Yeah. I'm not too stoked about this to be quite honest. Um, some kids fabric I really, really like and but the most, I, I should say, but the most, the majority of it is just not my thing. Um, so it's nice to try something new, not something I'm going to use. All right. Um, I think this is going to be my florals is my guess. And this is really pretty, guys. So this is a, a vine with shades of blue. And actually, if, like a little touches of purple in there, too. So really, really pretty. Hopefully you guys can see it well enough. Try not to make my camera freak out, but I like this a lot. This is gorgeous. And it's got a little bit of that shimmery in there too, a little bit of shimmery silver. So very fun. Another pretty blue floral, so blue background with really light pink flowers. And that has a little bit of the shimmer as well. So let's see if we can get you a better view. Pretty. Ooh, I like this. I'm not sure what this is. Honestly, I'm going to have to look up what the uh, the floral is. This might be Callista line, but it's not a floral, so I'm not sure. But um, I'm going to call this a gray. And it is just this beautiful geometric pattern. And I am just in love. This will be really fun to use for something. And I get the same thing in teal. And we all know teal is like one of my favorite colors ever. Teal and turquoise. So... Awesome pattern, awesome shade, very happy. All right, now I know for sure we're getting into florals because this one actually has flowers on it. Light bulb. <laughs> so this is a pretty navy background um, with pink flowers that are different shades. You get a little bit of um, like a light gold in there, some uh, brown, some white. So very pretty, and it almost looks um, painted in a way. So <clears throat> I don't know why, but I really like some of those fabrics that look like they were made into works of art and then put on to fabric, not just designed in a computer to put on fabric, if you know what I'm saying. Not saying those are bad, I like those too, but there's just something about transferring it from one medium to another that I like. All right, so this really is a fun uh, geometric print as well. And I really like um, all the different shades that are in this. So you got a couple shades of blue, you got pink, you got olive green, you've got even kind of like a black, but yeah, very fun. This was one of the ones when I was looking, because um, every month they send you an email saying, hey, how did you like your box last month? And here's a couple of the lines we have coming up for next month. What do you think? And I always go and I tell them exactly what I liked and what I didn't for the previous month. And I look at the new ones and I say, ooh, <laughs> don't really like any of that line. Or, ooh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a good line and I really like these three the best just to give them an idea of, you know, what my tastes are. <clears throat> so I did that, and that was one of the fabrics that I liked. Oh, gorgeous. So now we have a really pretty um, light blue background with darker blue leaves. And then you got a little bit of cream and some different shades of pink in there um, on the flowers. So very, very pretty. This is not too much pink. It's got perfect amount of blue, very delicate, feminine. 
I like it. And then we have, so we saw this one earlier in a different shade. This one also came in the dark blue, if you'll remember that. So same pattern, just in a really pretty um, aqua-ish shade. So, love them both. I'm actually not sure which one I like better. They look really good on both. Oh, and apparently I also have it in raspberry. So, whoever uh, decided that uh, th this was my pattern this month, that uh, that works though. Because like I said, I like that it looks like it comes from a different medium. All right. This one is also very raspberry-ish. And you've got some different pink ovals. So this is just hitting that line of too much, almost too much pink for me. Um, the raspberry kind of helps tone it down in my mind so it's not as obnoxiously pink. So this one's all right. I don't mind it. I don't know that I would have chosen it in this color palette, um, but since there was so much blue in my box, they probably didn't want to put any more blue. I don't know if green was an option or not. Um, and then this pattern that I like so much from earlier that I have another two of those. And this one is a very pink. Lots and lots of pink. There's, there's no relief. Um, but it is kind of that dusty rose. So normally, like I said, Pink, not my fan. I like raspberry, and I'm finding that I kind of like this dusty rose color as well. If it was Pepto Bismo, I'd have an issue, but this is pretty. So, all in all, um, I'm actually really happy with my box this month. The only one that I really didn't care for is that uh, juvenile children's one with the the kids on the balloons and all that. Um, but. I like the patterns, I like the shades of the fabrics that I got this month, so I'm actually pretty happy. Um, what else? Uh, I'm moving, so if some of my videos look like a mess or take a little bit longer um, than usual, bear with me. Hopefully I'll have my studio set up um, by the time my box rolls around next month. Theoretically I will. but. Just in case, that's what's going on. Um, for those of you who are on Bump Watch, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet, but I should know soon. And when I do, I will share it with you guys. Um, there'll be a separate video for that. Uh, otherwise, subscribe, comment below. I always love hearing what you guys think about my box. If you get this box as well, did you get different fabric that you liked? Let me know and uh, hit the notification button so you never miss a video. All right, y'all, hopefully y'all are doing well. Have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend, be safe, and I will see you next month.